Hi everyone, I am Lillian Chukura from Lily Legal, where we help our clients get status for themselves and for their families using the US immigration law system. So today I want to talk to you about what happens if your fiance gets pregnant while you're going through the fiance visa process, right? How does the whole thing work with the child and, um, you know, will it affect your fiance visa process? Well, that is what I will be talking to you about today. And as always, if you have any questions about this or anything else immigration related, you can book a time to talk to me over Zoom or in person by going to my website, lilylegal.com, or by calling my office and my number is always on the screen and all my contact information is in the description. So my client um, actually had this happen where as we were filing the process, the fiance gets pregnant and now they're worried because they think now that she's pregnant, it's going to affect their fiance visa process and I had to come them down. Okay. I had to calm them down. So this is when the foreign fiance, so the one that's trying to get the visa to come to the U.S. gets pregnant, not the U.S. citizen. Okay. Well, it depends, right? So the, the process itself would not really be affected by the fiance getting pregnant, but what will be affected is what happens with the child, right? Would the child be able to come with the fiance or not? Again, it depends on where she has the baby. So if your interview is next week and she's not due for another three, four months, then don't worry about it. She gets her fiance visa. She comes in, she has the baby in the US. The baby's a US citizen. Okay. Now, if she does not have her interview for another year and the baby is due in four months and you are, well, if you're filing a fiance visa, you are a US citizen and you meet all the requirements for physical presence in the US, well, guess what? Your child is automatically a U.S. citizen, so you can go ahead and file for a um, foreign birth certificate at the U.S. Embassy and a passport, a U.S. passport for the child. So it doesn't really affect the fiancé process. Your fiancé still has to go to the interview and um, an officer still has to approve the fiancé visa, but your child that's now born in the foreign country is a US citizen, as long as you meet the physical presence requirements and you can file that foreign birth certificate and file for their passport so that once your fiance is, um, once your fiance has her visa and your child has his or her passport, you they can get on a flight together and come to the US, okay? So all you need to do is figure out if your child it can automatically become a U.S. citizen or if um, there's a visa required. Again, if you need a visa for the child, that is something that can be done once the embassy stage starts. So don't worry about that. There are options available to you. But as a U.S. citizen, keep in mind that in most situations, your child, even if they're not born in the U.S., is automatically a U.S. citizen, as long as you, the U.S. citizen, meets the physical presence requirement, okay? So I hope that answers that question for you if you had it in your head. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you for your time. And remember, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you know someone who needs to hear this, go ahead and share this video with them. And if you are watching in a place where you can subscribe or follow, you 
don't want to miss any of my uploads, go ahead and hit the subscribe or follow button. And once again, I am Lillian Chukura. I am the owner of Lily Legal and we do immigration law and we do it really well. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.